1998, I discovered that many kids in the hospital system were falling through the gaps of healthcare support groups. And for me, that just wasn't good enough. So I spoke with uh, doctors, nurses and social workers and I set up TLC for Kids to provide that immediate personal and practical support for sick kids and their families when they need it the most. One of the services we provide is the Distraction Box program, which is a box of toys and items that have been specifically chosen to distract kids during examinations and procedures, but more importantly, reduce that stress and anxiety of any hospital examination or procedure for the kids. If the help's given at the right time and the right sort of help, it can make the difference between a, a child's stay in hospital being one of the most traumatic experiences in their life to something that they just think, well, look, it wasn't great, but at least we're out of there now. When I was diagnosed, we found out I was terminal. I was not in a very good place at all during treatment. And thankfully, Tim and TLC came along right at that perfect point in time when myself and my family needed them. I wouldn't be alive if TLC hadn't come into my life. The relationship that TLC for Kids has with doctors, nurses, social workers and healthcare professionals is critical, especially when it comes down to the care and attention provided to the children and their specific needs. As a paediatric nurse, the services provided by TLC for Kids and Tim has been such an invaluable and important service. Knowing that the young person's emotional wellbeing is looked after is so important. As long as uh, children are going without, I think... Uh, I I know that this is something that I'll just continue to do and I look forward to the day that there's not a need for a service like TLC for Kids. The qualities that come to mind for me with Tim are integrity, passion and energy. I believe he brings that to everything that he does and I think that's why TLC for Kids has lasted this long. Something I say often to a lot of people uh, when they ask about the work we're doing is how do you get through it? And to me, it, it's an emotional roller coaster because we have some incredible highs. Uh, we get some fantastic feedback from kids and families knowing that we've made such a difference in their lives. But also we have that tragedy to know that, uh, unfortunately, we may have lost a little one and uh, we've had to assist with the, the funeral costs, which is um, extremely sad and it's, it's very hard to go on. Every little bit that we've been able to help, and if it is the smallest thing, to be able to honestly say that you've changed somebody's life is one of the most motivating and energising things that anybody could ever do. So uh, I suppose I get my inspiration and energy from the kids and families themselves. Tim is, without a doubt, the best person I have ever met. He's genuine, kind, uh, he, he's got a great sense of humour. Nothing ever seems to get him down. He's always smiling and, and joking around and just trying to make everyone else happy. I've always believed that if you have an opportunity to help somebody or give back, you should. I know a lot of people would have heard the phrase, the gift is in the giving, and I can assure you there is no better feeling than be able to give support to someone who really needs it. What I would love to see is to make 2014 the year of the smile. And uh, if that means, you know, it's a happier place for people to be in, well, it's be a happier country to be in as well.